Welcome to another tutorial video regarding AB machinery and mechanization. This time, we will be solving the problem, design a water pump system required to supply water to a 5 hectare rice farm. The source of water is from a river 10 feet below, and discharges water 2 feet above the ground surface. Consider 25% friction head from the suction and discharge head of the piping system. Assume a crop requirement for rice of 10 mm per day and losses due to percolation and seepage of 2 mm per day. Conveyance losses is 10% of the irrigation requirement. Assume pump efficiency of 60% and transmission and engine efficiency of 80% and 80%, respectively. Operating time per day is 8 hours. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to support my channel grow. To continue, we first identify our given. We have the area of the farm to be 5 hectare, the suction head, with a symbol of HS, to be 10 feet. The discharge head, with a symbol of HD to be 2 feet. The friction head to be 25% of the suction head and discharge head. The crop requirement is 10 mm per day. The seepage and percolation to be 2 mm per day. The conveyance losses which is the 10% of IR or the irrigation requirement. The operating time per day to be 8 hours. The transmission efficiency to be 80%. Finally, the engine efficiency to be 80%. The required in the problem are the pump capacity, the total head loss, the water horsepower, the brake horsepower, and the motor horsepower or the engine horsepower. After identifying the given and the required in the problem, we proceed with our solution. The first value that we are going to solve is the value of our pump capacity. We begin by solving the irrigation requirement, symbolized by IR. To solve for its value, we will be using the formula, crop requirement plus seepage and percolation, multiplied to the area. We substitute values, giving us crop requirement of 10 mm per day plus seepage and percolation of 2 mm per day. We have to convert millimeters to meter using the conversion factor, 1000 mm is equal to 1 meter, multiplied to the area of 5 hectare. We also have to convert hectare to square meter using the conversion factor, 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. Millimeter unit will be cancelled out the same with the hectare unit. Giving us, irrigation requirement is equal to 0.012 meters per day times 50,000 square meters. We simply solve and we have a final value for our irrigation requirement to be 600 cubic meter per day. Next, we have to solve for the value of the diversion requirement. To solve for its value, we will be using the formula, Diversion requirement is equal to irrigation requirement added to the product of the irrigation requirement times the conveyance loss. Substituting the values, we have, irrigation requirement of 600 cubic meter per day, added to the product of the irrigation requirement of 600 cubic meter per day, times the conveyance loss of 0 0.10. We simply solve and we have, 600 cubic meter per day added to 60 cubic meter per day. We simply add and we have the value for our diversion requirement to be 660 cubic meter per day. Finally, we can now proceed in solving for the value of our pump capacity. The formula in solving its value is getting the product of the diversion requirement multiplied to the operating time. We substitute values and we have, diversion requirement of 660 cubic meter per day, multiplied to the operating time of 8 hours in one day giving us a final value for our pump capacity to be 82.5 cubic meter per hour. The next value that we are going to solve is for the total head. To solve for total head, we will be using the formula, total head is equal to the summation of the discharge head, suction head and the friction head. Substituting values, we have, discharge head of 2 feet, added to the suction head of 10 feet, added to the friction head, which is 25% of the discharge head and friction head. We simply solve and we have, 12 feet plus 3 feet. We simply add and we have 15 feet. 
We can stick to this as our answer but if you want, we can convert it to meter using the conversion factor, 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. Giving us an answer in meter to be 4.57 meters. The next value that we are going to solve is the water horsepower. To solve for water horsepower, we will use the formula, water HP, is equal to the quotient of the product of pump capacity times total head all over 273. We already solved for the value of the pump capacity. So, we substitute values and we have, pump capacity of 82.5 cubic meter per day times total head of 4.57 meters, all over 273. We simply solve and we have a final value for our water horsepower to be 1.38 horsepower. The next value that we are going to solve is the brake horsepower. It has a formula, brake HP is equal to the quotient of the water HP all over the pump efficiency. We substitute values and we have, brake HP is equal to water HP of 1.38, all over the pump efficiency of 0.60 giving as a final value for our brake HP to be 2.3 horsepower. The next value that we are going to solve is the value for our engine horsepower or the motor horsepower. It has a formula, engine horsepower is equal to the quotient of the brake HP, all over the product of the transmission efficiency times the engine efficiency. Substituting values, we have, engine HP is equal to brake HP of 2.3 horsepower, all over the product of the transmission efficiency of 0.8 times the engine efficiency of 0.8. We simply solve and we have a final value for our engine HP to be 3.59 horsepower. That is now the solution to our problem. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.